What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Go For Broke. This game came out in 1985 from Selco and Ryder and it is for two to five players. Now the version I'm going to be reviewing is going to be this version. Uh, this version is the uh, more recent edition and it has a few uh, extra rules that adds a few more elements uh, to this game. Anyway, the object of this game is you are trying to be the first player to lose one million dollars. And there's a number of ways you can try to lose this money. You can try to gamble it, playing different games. You can bet on horses. You can bet on the stock market. And then there's a bunch of spaces uh, on the board that will allow you to win money or lose money. Anyway, let me show you this little unique game. Okay, everybody, let me go ahead and show you the components really quick. Uh, of course, you have your game board. And on the game board, there's four different main spots. There's the racetrack, the snake eyes game, the casino, and the stock exchange market over here. Right here in the middle of the table are a few of the little games that you're going to be playing. This is the roulette wheel here. This is the uh, horse track wheel here. This is the slot machine. And then this is the uh, stock market over here. And these are your pawns. They're the shape of soda bottles. You have your green and then you have your other three over here. Um, you've got stock certificates over here. And there are certain spots that if you land on them will give you the option to buy them. Um, here's one for steel, which is $100,000. This can be good because you'll be spending 100000 of the $1 million uh, that you have. But if it turns out you play the stock market and the wheel goes up, you're going to end up winning money. These are hotels right here. Um, you'll be using these hotels if you decide to invest in a hotel. And here's an example right here. And I'll show you how these work here in just a second. And, of course, you have your dice and your money. So the object of this game is you're trying to be the first player to lose one million dollars. And uh, let me just go ahead and just take you through here real quick. You'll roll the dice and let's just say green goes and he goes nine. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. And he can choose to go either this way or he can go this way. If he goes this way, he can go ahead and buy uh, stock and steel for $100,000. If he goes here, he can play the racetrack. So let's just say he decides to play the racetrack. Now, if you're going to play the racetrack, you're basically going to uh, put money down on one of these four horses over here, and you can tell that each space is a different size. Um, you can wager between $5,000 and $50,000 on winning one of those horses, and then you're going to spin the spinner to determine which horse wins. So these are the odds for each horse. For the red horse, you'll receive two times the amount that you bet if the spinner lands on it. For blue, it's three times. For yellow, it's four times. And for green, it's five times the amount bet. So let's say I put $50,000 on horse two and then I spin the wheel and horse number four shows up. So what happens in that case is I'm going to lose that $50,000 to the bank. That's a good thing. However, if I would have bet on horse four, then what would have ended up happening, I would have received five times the amount bet. In that case, I would have ended up getting probably $250,000 or something like that for betting on horse four. All right, so let's say you roll and then you end up in the snake eyes position over here. Now the Snake Eyes is a game that you're going to use with the dice, and what you're going to do is you're going to roll these dice and try not to roll a 1. For every number you roll without a 1, you're going to take this number and times it by $5,000. In this case, it would be $35,000. And you can stop or you can keep going. It's a pressure luck type of thing. So let's say I decide to keep going and I end up rolling a 1. I'm going to end up receiving $100,000 back from the bank. If I roll Snake Eyes, I'm going to be receiving $300,000 from the bank exchange game uh, uses this wheel over here and let's say I have uh, two oil shares in, in my possession so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this thing now what you'll see is uh, there's a space that represents each of the socks the blue here is the steel this is the oil this space means anybody that owns a share is going to receive ten thousand dollars per share uh, this represents uh, electricity or energy. You'll see that it says up and down. Now, what you're going to want is you're going to want the stocks to go down. So let's say I go ahead and I roll the wheel here, and I end up rolling down for the oil. That basically means that I'm going to be giving money to the bank because the stocks went down. So I will end up giving the bank $10,000 for each certificate that I have. So in the case I rolled an oil and I rolled it down, I have uh, two of these, so I'm going to be giving the bank $20,000. However... If I ended up rolling an up, I would end up receiving money from the bank. So in this case, I would go ahead and I would receive uh, $10,000 for every share that I held. And finally, you have the casino. Now, the casino gives you a lot of options. You're going to be using the roulette wheel here and um, the slot machine. So what you're going to do with the roulette wheel, you've got a few choices. There's three choices you have. You can either pay $5,000 and choose a single number over here. 
and if you end up winning, then you'll receive 50. And that's the safest thing you can do. You can pay $20,000 and choose between the uh, three groups of numbers, like 1 through 12, 13 through 24, and 25 through 36. If you end up winning, then you're going to receive $150,000. And of course, there is red and black. Uh, if you end up betting that way, you'll pay $50,000. And if you end up winning that bet, you're going to uh, receive $80,000. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, I go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pay $50,000 and bet on red. So I'll spin the little wheel and I'll watch for the arrow, and the arrow lands on a red. So in this case, I'm going to win $80,000, so that was not a good thing. All right, now for the slot machine, uh, you're just basically going to spin this, and if you get two of a kind, you'll win $50,000. Three of a kind, you'll win $150,000. And if you get three of these dollar symbols, you're going to end up winning $250,000. So let's just say I spin this, and I ended up not getting any of those things, so... Um, I would go ahead and give the bank $20,000 because that's the fee uh, it takes to play the slots. And that's how the casino works. Now the lottery over here is a spot, if you land on this, any money that is in this spot, you're going to pick up. Money will go into the lottery every time you pass that space. Now if you land on the hotel space, you'll have the opportunity to buy the lot for a certain amount of money. However, if anybody lands on the space, going to pay you $20,000 for the room. And the winner of the game, again, is going to be the first player that reaches, that ends up losing $1 million. So my uh, thoughts on this game. It's a pretty good game. Um, some games go faster than others. Um, there's been games before where I barely ever got any money, but I ended up losing all my money pretty quickly. But then there's other times where you're going to be having a tug of war with the bank. You'll be trying to get rid of your money, but then they're going to give you money. And um, a lot of it just basically comes down to what you get in these spaces over here. It's not a uh, hard game to learn, and it's not got a lot of depth to it. If you like these type of games, if you like Monopoly or something like that, a simpler version, this might be a game that you might like. So that's my review on Go For Broke. I hope you all have a great day, and feel free to subscribe if you like. Thanks.